Revolutionaries! I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love! Today, we come to a dark subject. Though I must stress that the heroic legion of positive reviewers strives to be inclusive of all faiths, creeds, and religions, including those without, I personally cannot so easily discount the theory of evolution. Or rather, the scientific model of evolution, I should say. I will, however, spare you the rant, and move straight on to today's subject, the movie evolution. Released in the summer of 2001, evolution tells the tale of a strange meteorite bringing an entirely new strain of life to our planet. But oh dear, that strain evolves rather quickly. Luckily, a brace of heroes steps up to the plate to keep these aliens from overwhelming the indigenous population, as in us. So let's keep an open mind, and a cocked shotgun, though not for the reason you think, as we investigate evolution. An asteroid is caught in the gravity of Earth, and falls in Glen Canyon, Arizona. Come the morning, and we're introduced to Dr. Ira Kane. Glen Canyon Community College. Your future at a price you can afford. And Coach Harry Block, who's a credited geologist. After consulting with the only witness, the pair descend to inspect the asteroid. It's a rock that bleeds. Certainly not an everyday occurrence, even for the rockmen of Asnagar. What they find is surprising. Ira informs Harry They're aliens And evolution continues Yeah, but it's 200 million years worth in just a few hours More so at the crash site, where we discover flatworms Flatworms that are already escaping into the surrounding environment What the hell? And still evolving Things take a turn, however, when the army get involved. That's the US Army for you. Step in, take control, and walk all over you. Reminds me of that time that... Hang on, that's probably still classified. I shouldn't really talk about it. And when Harry and Ira use the courts... The discovery continue to play a significant role. A terrible truth is revealed. With an experimental anthrax vaccine that you developed and administered to... Dr. Kane's anthrax vaccine had some pretty nasty side effects. Blindness, vomiting, stomach cramps, diarrhea... The list goes on. It was so severe that it became known as the Kane Madness. And worse, the army cleaned out all the files on this discovery. Our protagonists revert to subterfuge to return to the site. 11112, this is DJ Harry Block here. But it isn't long before they're discovered. Dr. Reed, um, did you authorize a walkthrough? No. And lucky for them as Harry's suit is compromised. <gasps> this reminds me of the old joke about the fly in my suit, but you've probably already heard it. Side of the bottle. You're trying to open it by hand. Just sort of aim it away from you and let the cork pop itself. I've done that before and it's worked for me. And evolution continues. <laughs> Ira tries to convince Dr. Reed to shut down the research. Alright, I'll discuss it with him, but I can't promise you anything. Thank you. After a chance encounter leads to a tip off, Eagle-eyed viewers will notice that that was Sarah Silverman in the last scene, taking off her shirt. Our heroes, with trainee fireman Wayne Gray in tow, investigate. Behind the house, they find a dragon graveyard. But one dragon isn't quite so dead. Oh. 
it's oxygen tolerant. And worse, he runs amok at the Glen Canyon Mall. And even worse, when they lose it, Wayne starts singing. Which turns out to be quite useful when it is revealed that singing attracts dragons. Well, they do say that music soothes the savage beast, and they don't come much more savage than dragons. So there you have it, folks. Set a dragon to catch a shoplifter. Kind of brutal if you think about it, but hey, whatever works. The situation is serious enough to warrant the state governor's attention. Unless we do something immediately, we will lose Glen Canyon in three days. And General Woodman has a plan. We evacuate, make it safe, and then we burn the alien menace right the hell out. But evolution won't be denied. <laughs> alien monkeys. I had to deal with them back in 2007. But Dr. Reed can stand the military life no longer, and leaves with our heroes. He wants to be deputy director of the CDC anyway. No, but I managed to get your research files and your original samples. Back at the college, a match provides a spark of inspiration. These things react to fire like it was miracle grow. And the solution lies in a very canny piece of product placement. In short, humans are carbon-based, and poisoned by arsenic. These aliens are nitrogen based and poisoned by selenium. But where are you going to find 500 gallons of selenium at 2 in the morning? <laughs> well, that's where the clever product placement comes in. Head and shoulders. The active ingredient is selenium sulfide. So grab your shampoo bottles as we bring evolution to its explosive climax. You got a dirty mind. Our heroes prepare to hose down the cave with shampoo, but oh dear, Woodman started early, and Evolution forms a giant beast in response. But our heroes still have a fire truck's worth of selenium sulfide, and rush in where soldiers fear to tread. It's payback time! And so our movie ends with Ira and Reed ducking out to get frisky. I think he's giving her a bit of the cane madness. Them scientists, eh? Anyway, that was Evolution. And yes, it is a good movie. But I don't think I can put this one into the house of love. You can't catch lightning in a bottle. This movie is somewhat proof of that. The parallels to Ghostbusters are apparent if you know what to look for. Scientist protagonists, one a huckster, one serious, an outsider joining in the second act, a giant team climax, though it should be noted that Evolution is an entertaining watch, and at 98 minutes it doesn't outstay its welcome. So why Ghostbusters and not Evolution? Because Evolution isn't Ghostbusters. It doesn't have the script of Ghostbusters, it doesn't have the feel of Ghostbusters. And there were a few very cringeworthy moments, at least in my opinion. But I wouldn't go so far as to declare this a poor man's Ghostbusters. Evolution is a good movie. Given the choice, I may prefer Ghostbusters, but I won't turn my nose up at Evolution. So thanks for watching, and join me next week for more fun and frolics. So long, folks! <laughs>